What's we'll smack a lacking with the bean cracking? It's your boy Terpicabra back with another edition of In the Tent. Today I needed to update my seed stock list, so I thought what a great opportunity to bring you on a tour of the modest Terpicabra seed vaults. Before we start going through packs, let's talk storage. Keep all my seeds in a small cooler that I throw in the back of the fridge. Everyone has different opinions, but in my experience, properly stored beans can easily last five plus years. I'm honestly thinking I can push it to 10 years, but only time will tell. Uh, this really only applies to strong genetics that have been kept cold and somewhere with adequate humidity for its entire lifetime. I've heard stories of beans being cracked from the 70s and 80s, plus if you're struggling to get a germ, there's a few tricks that could help, like shell scoring. Let's get right into this thing. It's going to be my Rockbud ink selections. An auto and photo breeder known for distinct and interesting flavor profiles, paired with nice potency levels. Here we have Alaskan Blackberry, crossed with Ghost Mints, that crossed with the Liz Photo Periods. Some Auto Femme Grape Dosy Breath, very cake strain with a strong punch. Purple Rock Bud BX1 Iced Edition. Grape Slurry Auto Flower. Some rocket fuel for the sativa lovers. And right here we have the unofficial force collab with Mephisto Purple Dodgers. Super, super great tarps on this girl. As controversial as she is, she's amazing. Now for my stash of Mephisto Genetics, a company bringing the standard and quality auto flowers since 2012. This is Purple Nuggets. The original drop of the isolated purple pheno is strawberry nuggets. Beautiful, chunky plant with a very sweet and creamy flavor. Farm Stompers next, and she's another dense grease monkey. Looking for light mint and chocolate notes that really shine when vaporized. Forgotten Cookies, great cross utilizing Farm Stomper. Nice daytime high, but can leave you couch locked and confused if you overindulge. The small and calyx smoothness makes that pretty easy. Fugue State is another interesting sativa that has some of the most unique terps I've ever encountered. I'm talking sweet butter with light pepper and some kind of herb I still can't even pinpoint. Definitely one that has to grow on you, but boy is she one to savor. She also likes to play stunted and explode with vigor and late veg, so be careful with those. Here we have Grapey Walter, another limited edition that produces some sweet, smooth smoking. Okay, here we have a Three Bears OG crossed with sour livers. This is my first outdoor plant that produced some nice OG structured buds. Pretty pest resistant as well. With different hands and making the Mephisto lineup one of the best available, it was inevitable before a few of those branched off into their own ventures. One of those branches has gained an insanely dedicated fan base. With overall total elevation every drop, it's easy to understand why. These will be my Night Owl selections. Here's the galaxy brain that my channel goers will be very familiar with. A nice balanced hybrid that'll reward you greatly if you care long enough. If you want more info, go ahead and check out episode 4 of In The Tent. Cheech Bigums here. Must grab, giving my love for the Chappelle show. Cheech Marin. That's some heavy shit, man. And heavy resin producing autoflowers. Space Station Orange, an uplifting sativa with strong citrus chirps. Every time I run her, she barely lasts through the cure. This milk and cookies is pretty special to me. It was the first plant I got to blow up and pull over five ounces from. It was a benchmark that I've been steadily increasing every run, so where 10 ounces looks pretty fucking doable now. Mango Sunrise is up next, and as you can tell, I love my citrus and fruit chirps. Post cure, she definitely has a little something to her that's a little reminiscent of like mango skin. On to Blue Sprayed Shoes, a 21 Halloween drop that I haven't had the honor to run yet. I'm thinking she'll get into rotation by the end of next month. Expect heavy indica grease balls. Star Spangled Banner, on the other hand, is on her way out and one of the best looking plants I've ran. The density is off the charts, paired with an insane frost level that'll have growers paranoid. Only good problems here, growers. Speaking of good problems, this Pope Manor the third is already double the size of my largest plant to date. She's only rolling into the early flower. Even then, all the bud sites are completely purple. Looking like that anvil is strong in this one. She grew too tall for my 5 foot tent, so be prepared for some monsters with these banner crosses. Seven. 
Now we reach one of the newer breeders in my collection that I've been very excited to see progress. Gas Reaper Genetics, an OG in the cannabis and tattooing world that is finally offering his crosses to the public. Here we've got some Lemon Star, a lemon tree cross that's density is on point with any other breeder I've grown. And that goes for photos as well. This is Hellbender, a strong, gassy autoflower flower that is said to push out the trichomes to intense levels. I've got one popped and in the seedling phase, so I'll update you soon. Gas Reaper has a ton of new crosses out that have kind of had me itching. But with a handful of strains still waiting for their first run, I think I'll run through some of those beans before I get more. At least that's what I'm saying to protect my savings. I've also got a couple random bag seeds and beans from photo periods that I ran when uh, I was first starting my cultivation venture, I guess you can call it. Not to mention a few other companies that I would prefer not giving any marketing to. Let's just say you get what you pay for. So there you have it. Nothing crazy. I like to keep things manageable and not leave packs completely untouched due to a uh, present FOMO when a drop happens. Uh, plus, it's nice to leave some for the people who actually grow them out. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and leave this one on the idea of compassion for others. Let's keep pushing each other up and elevating our skills together, Grammys. Stay terpy. I'm out. Deuces. Severed, severed, severed.